What's up, friends? We got a Walmart Plus delivery. I'm so excited about it because we have never had full Walmart Plus. So we have had our, okay, hold on. That didn't make sense. Walmart Plus is somewhere on Amazon Prime. We have had a Walmart Plus account for some time. We get like some delivery. We don't get all delivery. We could get like uh, uh, clothing that they have in stock or bread, but like could never get milk. And so it was just inconvenient to do it. They now deliver to our home, which makes me so excited. So let me go put, put this dog out. Hello again. So we got cut off. My battery died. I was going to show y'all because I was really excited about my Walmart Plus order. Well, then I didn't realize what time it was. I got distracted, didn't realize what time it was. We had to leave for a birthday party. It was so much fun, but my child legitimately does not have fear and that's kind of terrifying because it's like you don't want to instill fear in them so you don't say things so you watch from a distance and you maybe let them like do things that are absolutely terrifying but we were at a birthday party for a sweet little friend of ours and she's like seven um it's one of my mom's friend's daughters she's seven and so all of her friends were like seven, six, you know, in that age range. And it was majority girls and then some boys, um, but they're rougher at that age as they should be, they're bigger. And they were so sweet to Ezra, so gentle with him, but he wanted to hang with the big kids. So he was going down this huge water slide and he had no fear. And it was one of those that like, it has a water slide and then a pool at the bottom. And he, he was swimming okay at the beach with his jumper on, like puddle jumper on, but I would not say he can swim. I would say he's decent. Um, like he, I was not worried about him, but we were still keeping an eye on him. Um, but we don't live near water. We don't go to the lake. So I guess just like swim lessons haven't been at, in the front of my mind, but I do need to get something sorted out because it's summertime and you know, we will start having parties like that as he gets older. Um, and we don't know if we're going to get a pool next year, two years, three years, like we don't know. So I don't know when it'll be, but I got to get that sorted out, but time just got away from me. So anyways, we're home now and I am literally, I have done nothing. Like I haven't worn the sweatband. I haven't worn the sweat gel. It makes you sweat more, makes your heart rate, like really get up. And I am sticky and covered. If you have not ever done the 12, 3, 30 workout, I highly recommend it. Um, don't just start it because it will be so daunting that you will probably not, <clears throat> excuse me, not be able to finish it. Um, maybe a 12, 3, 30, I did technically a 12, 3, 60, but I've been working up to it for a while. So I got pretty, pretty comfortable at a five incline and I never really went up. And finally this past week I was like, all right, we've got till the end of June to not only do it, but to do it regularly. That's what you're gonna do. 60 minute walk every day um, at a three speed and 12 incline. So we're working up to it. And tonight I went up to 10. I am disgusting. I am of just, it's so gross. <laughs> So do not discredit that. I need to go write it down. Oh, and I did want to tell y'all, this bad boy is so much more comfortable. One of my girlfriends sent me this seat. This is like, this piece alone is twice the width of the Peloton seat. This thing is so much more cushioned. Ew, you can see my sweaty hand. Um, but yeah, if you get a Peloton, I'll link this seat. One of my girlfriends sent me the link for it. It's amazing. Um, and then I actually have been keeping this calendar. I just started this week because like I said, goal in June, get to 12 incline for 60 minutes. So I did a 60 minute walk. My finish incline last night. I know it was nine tonight. It was 10. So there we go. I keep track of it. And also I do this because faster way, like the workouts are kind of label weird and I want to make sure I don't do like whenever I do another upper body workout, I want to make sure I didn't do the six, eight, 23 one because they're labeled super odd. So anyways, gonna go ahead and head inside and shower off, but it legit feels like I just took a bath and then put clothes on. I'm so wet. It's disgusting. Anyone else watch to make sure no bad guys get in? 
even though like literally no bad guys have ever tried to get in, but you're gonna watch till the very end regardless. Or are you normal? Okay, figured I'd do a quick little unboxing. God, my feet, they like hurt. I rubbed blisters on my feet. Um, three things. Three separate brands, I guess. So, um, Kendra Scott, I am on their PR list and I absolutely adore them. I purchased a ton of Kendra Scott pieces on my own and then they reached out to me years ago and I've been on their PR list ever since and I just adore their jewelry. Um, so, their summer collection, I believe, is launching this week. So, I'll link this stuff if I can. So obsessed with how bright and fun this stuff is. I've been very into like neon colors. Not sure if you guys can see but they're just like her standard pretty hoops. And then they have these like neon green, it's like a neon green color around it. They have everything in a couple colors. Her standard, like the Kendra Scott hoop earrings. But again, that neon green. Danny, I think. I'll have these linked. That one doesn't have a little thing to it. But, and then again, a standard, like a, one of the, when I say standard, I mean like that's her necklace. Like when you see this, you're like, you know, that's her signature, I guess would be what I really need to say instead of standard um, in that same neon color. So those are super pretty. Prioritizing protein this week. Like I count my macros and the one thing I'm cool, like always been cool with, but for sure, cool with, if I go over on protein, I'm fine with it. I don't care. Um, as long as everything else stays good got these oatmeal power cups. They're the chocolate chip ones, 14 grams of protein. So the other day I ate a Chipotle high protein bowl. Everyone was asking like what I put in it. I don't know. I don't recommend it if you don't like hot sauce. I definitely next time will not get the hot sauce, but you have to, I think, order online and they're called lifestyle bowls and it'll say on their website, digital only. Um, which just makes me think you can only order them online and then have them picked up. I don't know if it's like you could ask for it at the counter and they know how to make it, but it's just not on the menu. But anyway, it's a high protein bowl and it's this pre-made thing that they measure out. Like they measure out each ingredient. 82 grams of protein. I ate it at one o'clock yesterday and I did not eat for the rest of the day because I was that full. 82 grams of protein is insane, but it was super good. It's really hot. So anyway, I've been trying to really, really, really prioritize protein when I count my macros. And we've got these yummy Kodiak oatmeal power cups. I've had theirs in the past. You can't go wrong, in my opinion, with any of the Kodiak oatmeals. I think they're all so delicious. Um, just a matter of what your preference is. We use the Kodiak, um, like whenever I make Ezra, he loves them, those donuts. I'll have to make them in the next vlog, probably. Those Kodiak pancake mix. I use that in a donut mold and then I add in little toppings. Ezra loves them and they're protein donuts. So I give them to them for breakfast. And then lastly, got a really good Walmart haul coming. So this is all Walmart, Walmart Reebok shorts that are really comfy, Reebok sports bra. And these are like at the night. There was another piece I ordered today. I can't remember. I gotta quit opening bags like that, but free assembly. Look at how cute this dress is. It's a midi dress, green, with the white. I love this so much. That is so pretty. I have to make sure that fits though. Free assembly sometimes is a line that like, their stuff can run a little bit on the bigger side. This is so cute. I saw it in line. They wanted the white, but they didn't have it in stock in my size. I got the medium again. This is a little jumpsuit. How cute that is. I thought that would be cute with a little pair of like lace up sandals. What is, oh, these are the shorts. These look, oh, they're not the material I expected. Yeah, same thing. Free assembly. I'm gonna have to start getting smalls in free assembly stuff. Maybe not, because they have a drawstring, but adorable black shorts. I have a couple pair of shorts like this. I thought these were gonna be a little bit of a soccer material. They actually are a little dressier than I thought, um, but I have some in gray, and I also have a white pair, so that's why I bought those in black. 
this online looked just like an Abercrombie top that I have. And Free Assembly makes really good basics. So yeah, that's gonna be exactly like my Abercrombie top that was. Do you have the price tag on you anywhere? Where are you? I'm thinking that the Abercrombie one was at least three times the price of this one. Cause that was just that affordable. This is the last piece. Try any better about opening my bags, not like crazy person. Oh, this. Okay, this is a strapless dress. And I thought this would just be super cute, kind of casual, but midi, so you could wear it on like a date night. How adorable. off but this was a very short vlog um for sure i'm gonna make some protein ice cream with you guys tomorrow um the recipe that i have wanted to try it's like a vanilla version um but i gotta figure out something sam do you if i was to make enough protein ice cream that you could eat some would you it's not the same consistency as the one that i used to make with the pudding jello stuff in it no okay um yeah i don't i don't know i like that when you make the protein ice cream, it's 40 grams. I made it a couple vlogs back. I think it actually is in the title. It's like a Ninja Creamy title. Only thing is, it's like at least a pint of ice cream, if maybe not a little bit more when it's all said and done. That is a lot of ice cream to eat in one sitting. And I know that some people can do that, no problem. I am not one of those people. Um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying like, that is a lot of ice cream, especially after like if you count your macros and you've eaten all day and you've eaten like a good amount of protein and this and that, and then you turn around and are trying to eat a pint of ice cream. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to figure something out. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna close the vlog out here. Tomorrow is Saturday the 15th, lots to do. So thank y'all so much for watching the vlog and I will see you on, you're seeing this on Saturday, I'll see you on Monday. I am not doing daily vlogs on Friday and Sunday because that does give me a little bit of time to catch up. So I'll see you Monday morning.